Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am back. Happy 2022, happy new year. I have not seen you guys since 2021 and I've low key been so busy. It's two months into the new year and I have not seen y'all. My last video was a Vlogmas and I didn't even get to finish posting Vlogmas because my last Vlogmas video was actually the day of Christmas. I went to a theme park, I forgot which park I went to in Florida. But I made a vlog for that and I didn't even get to show y'all. Um, So I might drop some of those clips if y'all wanna see it. But happy 2022, I have started a new semester semester of classes and these classes I actually like my schedule better this year honestly I get to get out more and me and my friends go and study in different places this year so it's been fun a lot of things have changed I feel like I've changed a bit I'm not letting as much stuff slide this year no and also this year we're being more active on our goals I've already been but I have some stuff set in place that I'm really trying to get to so yeah that's basically where I've been I had locks going to the new year here's a picture but I just recently took them out, washed my hair, Kennedy flat on my hair, and this is the color we're working with. Um, it was pink yesterday, so I don't know what color it is really now. Auburn, I guess, some blonde. I had um, a skunk stripe, and I guess it got blended together, so I honestly don't know what my hair is doing. But in this video, we're just gonna do a little Q&A, updated Q&A. My last Q&A was in Florida on Vlogmas, but this one's more ambitious, I guess. Who is your hero? Honestly, I don't know. Cause the general answer people be like oh my parents i don't feel like they're my heroes they're just people in my life who like do impactful things but i don't really look up to them in that way as like a hero like i look at how they came up and i strive to do you're as a kid you always want to do better than how your parents did so i don't know if they're like my heroes like, well hero saves you from something so is there anything that saves you from something god jesus is my hero because i was going to fight somebody yesterday y'all to throughout my account so i'll talk to god what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not making an impact. Or like, I feel I would hate for my life to be wasted. That's why I'm just trying to do like, I do all these different things because eventually one of them's gonna take off somewhere. I just, I would hate to die and people are, I'm like, oh that's Sierra, who? Like that would just be like, wow, that's crazy. What really makes you angry? You said what really makes me angry? <laughs> What really makes me angry is when people aren't direct. Like, be clear on how you feel or how you, like, what you want to do or what you want to say. Like, just let me know. Because if you don't say it, you miss out. You miss your beat. Like, once you miss your beat, it's over with. For me, at least. Like, yeah, I give people so many times to, like, be honest with me and tell me something or to do something. I'm not going to chase you. That's one thing I'll never do is chase you. I hate somebody that lies or is not their true self. Like, I'm getting to know you. I'm vulnerable with you. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm meeting this new person. I'm like, this been you the whole time? Like, I know sometimes it take a while to break out your shell. And I can sometimes be a little reserved. And then when you meet me, I'm like loud and stuff, but like, I don't know. It's not real. Just be honest and real, honestly. That's all I care about. So yeah, that's my biggest one. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, it would be... I really would want to live in like Cappadocia, Turkey. Like out this country. More realistically, I want to live on like the West Coast. So I want to live in like... In Cali, like Encino, or neighboring cities, or Greece, or Amsterdam. I'm done. What's your favorite family vacation? Family? Uh, I'm gonna say Florida, just because that's like our second home. We used to go to Florida every two years, ever since I was born. And we stopped just because life changed, people got jobs, we're older now. But we really used to go to Florida every two years. And it was my favorite Florida trip, I think, so far was 2012. Because we went to Florida, 10 days, we found out we were staying, like, seven more days we was there for a long time and felt like being a kid and then the next year we went to la and we went to universal studios california and i'm like that was like i got to go to disney world and disneyland like that was crazy my favorite family favorite family vacation is florida i think this recent one was the first time we've been in nine years and it was definitely different it's different going to florida with all grown-ups instead of grown-ups and kids because you notice different things when you're grown like we're riding the rides and i'm like dang like this used to feel so real and now stuff like you see in an adult eye, I guess. But yeah, I like going to Florida with them. And family reunions are always fun. What would you change about yourself if you could? What I change about myself? Absolutely nothing. I wouldn't change anything. Because everything I do, I do for a reason. So I used to say, I wish 
I, did, I wasn't so nonchalant. But here's how I see it. When I was younger, I was so over emotional all the time. And my family and people around me used to be like, stop crying, stop being a baby, stop doing that. Why are you being so, why are you crying? Why are you doing that? And I feel like after a while, I just learned to like, not feel things, I guess. Not in that way, like I have emotions, like I cry over stuff, I cry all the time. But I just started to not sweat the small stuff, basically. Like little things don't bother me. And like, I really just don't be caring, like. And it just, it got that way cause I was used to caring so much and being told not to about certain stuff that I just stopped caring. So I feel like that's one thing I would change, but I like that I'm that person cause it just, it makes my mental state better. If I cared about a lot of stuff, I'd probably be very, very in a dark place. <laughs> What motivates you to work hard? I get motivated to work hard when I dream about the future. That's all I do. I made a five year plan. I make a five year plan every five years, dang near. And everything that I want, I just think if this went this way, this is how my life would be. So let's work hard. I work hard every day. Every day I'm doing my homework. I'm trying to finish my homework before the week is out. I be trying to make <laughs> trying to make music. I do my YouTube. I do my TikTok. I try to do my makeup. I make catwalk. I, I be pulled different ways. Cause it's, like I said, eventually one of them gonna do something for somebody. But yeah, I, I really motivate myself. And I'm not gonna lie, my sisters motivate me because my oldest, oldest sister would DJ in her dorms. She was in like the same age I was when she started DJing. And now she's like, she was on Power 92. If you don't know, that's a big radio station in Chicago. She was supposed to open for Doja Cat. Like she's doing big stuff. And I'm like, I wanna be like that. She's traveling, I wanna do that. And my other sister, she's on a lawyer route. And yeah, like her job right now may not be what she wants. But I don't know my sister gonna be a big at whatever she doing. She gonna be making that money. So honestly, my sisters motivate me too. What's your favorite thing about your career? I don't really have a career, but if you're talking like social media, my favorite thing to do is to like react to how people react to me. Cause I don't see social media as like, I'm posting this, this is for them. I just do it for fun. And honestly, to see how people react or respond, like I think my biggest YouTube video on here is when I brought Skylar to school with me. And everyone loved that. And I didn't know that video was gonna take off like that. Like I was like, people gonna love this. Like a little kid in high school. But to read the comments, I was like, that's like probably the best part. To see how people feel about what you're posting. Or they want more, like to see people like, I want more of Skylar. Kinda hurt my heart, cause I'm like, this is my channel, y'all wanna see my little cousin. But it was like, still, she's my cousin, y'all wanna see her. What's your biggest complaint about your job? Being shadow banned. I hate when I work hard on something and it gets like two views. And I know it's not always gonna be a lot, but it's just like the algorithm of TikTok and YouTube is just hard. It's hard to get seen. I could do the exact same video as somebody else, but I get two views and they get a million, you know? I feel like that's really hard. What is your proudest accomplishment? Mm -hmm. I have a lot of proud accomplishments. I try to congratulate myself on things. To know I'm, you're doing good, sweetie, you know? Lately, my proudest accomplishment is that Jennifer Hudson piece. Um, shout out to Gino. Uh, he's a good friend that goes to my school. And I drew a picture of him for fun. And he asked me to draw a picture for Jennifer Hudson, who's somebody close to him. And I got to draw her. And last night, he gave it to her. And it was just so cool to see, like, wow, Jennifer Hudson has something I made. Like, it was just crazy. But, I, like, before that, it was meeting James Charles and being able to share with him my form of makeup. And he's, like, the biggest person that I look at when I look at makeup. So honestly, it's like those things. Honestly, my biggest accomplishment is walking on the ground every day. Cause there's a lot of people that don't get to do that. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm coming back. This is not the end. Like I'm coming back to YouTube. Cause I do miss doing this. I do miss sitting in front of the camera and talking to y'all. And yeah, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. The makeup is coming back too. I'm bringing back all the makeup. Like I haven't really been doing makeup and stuff. School's been kept me so occupied, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen. Follow me on TikTok at CRXAndrea to see my recent TikTok. And also follow my Instagram. I just restarted it and I might delete it again honestly because I don't even know if I like the new feed but see y'all later